Alright, now, where is the curb at? It's coming. I'm going down. Like an alligator back there. It's piece of wood. Wait. It should be down on the passive scale. We'll probably have a real curb back on These people can't handle the curb around here. Drive you crazy. wider than most places on it. This, I think it's going to narrow down once it gets over this bridge here. This is the original bridge. We're going to overrun it east. And I hope that damn truck will stop. It did. Dumbass. And uh, it came out of Weatherford. And we're heading for where? Hydro. Hydro. We're heading east to Hydro, Oklahoma. This is pretty cool. It's hard to find a, a stretch of 66 like this. It's actually got the curb still left on it. Um, they do call it massive. It causes massive drain problems sometimes. And because it'll rain real hard, there ain't no place for the water to go except in the middle of the road. And that's not cool. But you'll notice places, some, they, some places the curb's been knocked off, uh, some places not. I think some places they didn't put a curb on it just as they went. Anyway, this day I'm coming up here is a building on the left. It's a big corn maze, big farm. And I don't really want to go through a corn maze today, so we're going to pass that. Uh, we're going to go up here to uh, the real mother to the mother road. Coming up here a little bit, and I'll tell you more about that when we get to it. Bye. Good thing we're named. Lucille. Okay, right here. Coming up on the left. Look at this. This is Lucille's. She was the mother of the mother load road. She passed away a few years ago. Uh, this is the only gas station like this left on all of 66. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Check this out. The living quarters are over the top of the garage. And, uh, the gas station, here's the gas pumps out here. The concrete used to go a little bit further out. It's been restored. The gas station, uh, the house is up above. Uh, go up front a little bit here. We used to have some a cabin out here too, motel units. No Phillips. Yeah, it's kind of weird sleeping above your gas station. Uh, part of the Road Rogers Highway. Uh, I think this used to be a motel that was also next to it. It's been restored or they rented out or something. Uh, maybe the offices. I don't know. It's only supposed to be a motel here, but I don't see any. I don't think this has been restored. It might have been. It looks like that, that part of the gas station a long time and the whole front's been redone. But anyway, that's kind of cool. You don't see too many of those anymore. They're just not around. Uh, especially on Route 66. You can see them in other places every once in a while. I, we ran into a few uh, in Arkansas on Highway 64. There's one or two there. And most people don't even know what the hell they are. They used to be gas stations, folks. It's really easy. You used to be able to live above it. Probably people that are living there now don't even know what they used to be. This is history. This is history. Soon, this might disappear. Yeah, it might not. But while you got a chance, get your car and get out. Take a couple of days. Drive parts of Route 66 and see what it's really like. If you want to see something really cool, you go up in the northern part of uh, on Oklahoma, north of Tulsa, uh, go over Missouri, uh, Joplin, and follow that highway down. It, it goes through 12 miles of Kansas. Beautiful scenery, really wild road. You get a little bit further down outside of Miami, um, Oklahoma, and you're going to run on a highway that is almost a car and a half wide. Let me tell you, it's still concrete. You might be able to drive five miles an hour. But it's the last remaining stretch of that. That was one of the original first piece of concrete paper on Route 66. You also find out that most of Route 66 is concrete. Back in the days, they didn't have asphalt. It didn't live up to it. didn't last that long. That's why every, the road, you can tell the difference. Because if you look in front of you, that's concrete. Now, this section they've knocked the curb off of. 
but you go down a little bit further, you'll find some curves and you'll find a little bit wider road and sometimes you'll find a narrow road. I think it just depends on when they built it and what was on hand at the time. Um, but that's how you can tell. See, they've, they've got two roads run uh, north side of the interstate and south side here in Oklahoma. And if you look for the concrete section, that is the original 66. It might have places on it where it's been asphalted over. Like down here a little bit, it's got asphalt. That's just because the highway started deteriorating. They, they did the easy sink, put asphalt on it. Um, but that's the only way you can tell. And the highway here in Oklahoma goes back and forth between the north side of the of I-40 and the south side of I-40. Then sometimes it goes way the hell away on the north side, but way the hell away on the south side. You just look for the concrete road. That is Route 66. Okay, we're off. We're heading down the highway east again.